podcasting from Woodstock, Georgia. Welcome to Soul Solutions, the show where we overcome our fears and our limiting beliefs. I'm your host, author, and certified life coach, Terry Kozlowski. Hello, warriors. As we head into the holiday season, do you have issues saying no to others? Are you allowing drama into your life because you can't set personal boundaries? If so, you can take the Guide to Setting Personal Boundaries online course on mastermind.com. The link is in the show notes. You can have a great drama-free holiday season. Now let's start this week's episode. Episode 71. Have courage to open your eyes and clearly see projection makes perception. How you feel affects how you perceive. If you are content, life flows. But if you are upset, then you'll see more negativity. Why? Because your perception of the world is the projection of your egoic mind. So this means that you have control over what you perceive simply by changing your mind about what you see. Right now, you're projecting the contents of your egoic mind out into the world. These projections result in the thoughts and experiences you have. Projection is neither good nor bad. It's how you process the world around you based on your beliefs, mindset, emotions, and experiences. They come up as projections when you repress those things about you you don't like or don't want to deal with, like a negative experience. For example, I don't like people who micromanage, and yet I do what I don't want to others. So when I see controlling people, what I am seeing is a part of myself that I don't like. I'm projecting onto others those things in myself or my egoic mind. See, everything and everyone is connected because it's conceived in your mind first. But for you to overcome what the egoic mind sees, you must look through the eyes of the soul. Perception of your mind's eyes. The ego sees through the lens of fear. Its job is to protect you, so it's conditioned to see everything as harmful. It's supposed to see the negative of each situation. The ego believes you are separate and you need things outside of yourself to be accepted. It wants to keep you small and for you to think you are fragile. Therefore, it looks for ways to keep you safe and urges you to conform so it can keep you secure in what it considers a cruel world. The soul, however, sees through the lens of love. Its job is to help you grow into your most authentic self. It's going to see the positive aspect of the surrounding conditions. It reminds you that your true nature is connectedness and all you need is already within you. Consequently, it looks for ways for you to grow and encourage you to be yourself. So each time you look at a set of circumstances, you have the option to perceive from the lens of fear or the lens of love. Which one do you use more often? Why do you think you lean towards that viewpoint? When you examine how you react or respond to life, you will determine which set of eyes you use to filter and process the world around you. So is it a time for a change in your perceptive powers? The world you projected into being. What you see reflects what your egoic mind thinks it wants. The world you see is an eyewitness to your state of mind. So when you look at the world around you, notice it's reflecting the inward condition of your mind. How much joy and peace do you see in the world? Once you recognize the state in which you've created, understand you have the power to change it instantly. You have the ability within you to alter your perspective of the world around you. Choose to change the lens through which you look. By choosing to see through the lens of love, you allow yourself to live in a better world of your own creation. The power of choice allows you to pick what you want to perceive and permits the soul to direct its vision. Again, it's about looking to see versus overlooking the parts you rather not comprehend. Perception is a choice of awareness, not necessarily reality. So remember, your truth may differ from mine. 
still, they are both valid, just like your perception may differ from mine because we're each seeing through our soulful lenses, which vary. So you must decide if you like the world your go of mind is projecting. If you don't, then you must believe you are strong enough to change it. And I know you are. All you have to do is see through the lens of the soul, see the love and the connectedness that already exists all around you. How do you perceive yourself? Your perception of yourself determines the world in which you live. Do you see the world is out to get you and you fear that the next axe is about to fall at any moment? Do you believe you have to earn love, happiness is fleeting, and peace elusive? This perspective is the lie of the ego to keep you separate and small by allowing fear to rule over your emotions. Do you see the blessings, miracles, and synchronicities of the universe all around you as a natural part of your day? Do you believe that love, joy, and peace are your birthright and these soulful qualities rise from within you? This perception of yourself is who you authentically are. To change the world you live in, you need to go within and see the oneness the soul is projecting. But the egoic mind doesn't want you to become empowered, so it tries to have you feel guilty for whatever it can. This lie keeps you from seeing the inner light that's shining, waiting for you to allow the rest of the world to see it too. Projecting the ego or extending the soul. As you've seen, the egoic mind projects its fears onto what you perceive as the world around you. So, when you stop projecting, what happens? Of course, you still have to process what you see through the lens of the soul, but now you see through the eyes of love. The soul extends itself into the world by the inner light that shines from within you. Your authenticity and you living your truth allow it to broaden your horizons. It expands through encouraging others, acts of service, and how you positively influence those around you. Extension of your soul helps others expand their souls too. Why? Because love is inclusive and it naturally strengthens one another through authentic bonds it creates. The power of love is so strong it melts away fear and all its other associated feelings, anger, resentment anxiety, dread, depression, irritation, resentment, annoyance, bitterness, hatred, apathy, and unhappiness. Your thoughts are the only thing that limits you. Yet you are a limitless being of light, which is supposed to be living out your best life by extending your soul to others through love. Why can't you believe that of yourself? Why do you think that fear overrides love? Your soul will never force you to see the difference because it's quiet compared to the shrieks of the ego. So get quiet and go within. What do you have to lose? Just think about what you could gain, the life of your dreams. Opening soulful eyes. When you recognize your connection to the universe, you allow love to flood your being. You realize your worthiness isn't outside of you and your acceptance as a being of light isn't conditional. Then you rediscover all the answers you were looking for you already had within you, including love, acceptance, and confidence. You take responsibility for your past actions and choices and no longer blame anyone, including yourself, because you see the lessons you are to learn. And you see others as a part of you and the feeling of oneness of humanity. As a result, you become excited to connect with others and encourage them to be their authentic selves. Furthermore, everyone helps one another to grow and develop. As you learn to reframe your thinking and alter your perspective, you can rewire your brain to see from a soulful perspective. This realignment empowers you to live the life of your dreams as you consciously decide based on the truth you see from the perspective of the soul. The loving connection with the universe and humanity empowers you to trust the process of life. It gives you the confidence to trust your intuition and take risks to live out your dreams. And as you take action, you see more compassion in the world around you. Moving forward with eyes wide open. 
When you get quiet and go within, you are reconnecting with source, which alters your perspective. What you put into the world is reflected back to you. You only see what your mind will comprehend. So what do you want to perceive? As you raise your level of awareness of what you're perceiving, projecting, or reflecting, you can learn to change it. By swapping the lens from which you view the world from fear to love, you become an infinite being as you remove the limitations you impose on yourself through the nightmare the egoic mind wants you to live. See, opening your eyes isn't passive. It requires you to take action. It's this action step that creates your reality. Most errors in how you think aren't about logic, but about perception. Are you building your world from ego place or a soulful place? Do you need help to open your eyes to the projections you place on the world around you? Do you want to perceive from a soulful perspective and see the love instead of fear? If so, reach out to me at terrykozlowski.com and we can put together an action plan for you to live the life of your dreams. If you want to see how I was able to open my eyes and change my perspective, you can do so by reading my book, Raven Transcending Fear. The link is in the show notes or you can go to raventranscendingfear.com. Thanks for listening to Soul Solutions with Terry Kozlowski. If you'd like the show and want to learn more, check out terrykozlowski.com where you can find the links to everything we talked about in this episode. Please subscribe to the show so you'll never miss an episode as we overcome our fears and our limiting beliefs. Thank you.